end? Well, I think um, it's, it's quite an indictment, I think, on, on the part of both the politicians, but also um, public servants. Because, I mean, one point that she makes is that had the government, and by that we're referring collectively to both the politicians as well as their like, senior public servants, had they acted timelessly, one, we would have been saved a lot of money. This controversy would not have reached the kind of the kinds of proportions that you are seeing now. So there's failure to lead um, in, in, in quite a number of ways. And I'm saying for a democracy that's supposed to be leading the continent and um, that uh, thrives on um, the kind of reputation of being a moral leader across the continent doing all good things of this world, it's actually quite an indictment. Other ministers were mentioned in Tuli Madonsela's report from Public Works to Police Minister Natim Tetwa. What happens to them now? Well, the, the, the president needs to sanction them. He must reprimand them both for um, failure to add their handling, in fact, of this, of this saga, but also for the fact that a lot of public money went where it wasn't supposed to go and there was actually quite a lot of waste. But also, I mean, there were, the, she, she does identify certain gaps, like policy gaps or, or procedure gaps and that sort of thing. But uh, the failure to act and to act timelessly is the bigger problem. In other words, there were instances where, for instance, with regard to the uh, police, where um, you could have rectified, in other words, you could have plugged in the holes. Even w the, when they had all the time in the world to actually fix those things, they just didn't do that. So which then says there are all these like, senior public like, servants who are charged with, who are, who are occupying positions of responsibility, yet they are not executing the tasks or the jobs that they are employed to do. And that is a very serious indictment on our public servants, especially considering, I mean, a case has been made over the years for senior public servants to earn lots and lots of money, to bring them to power with, uh, in certain instances, um, with salaries that you get in the private sector, people like DGs and DDGs and chief directors. Now, if they cannot perform in the jobs um, that um, have, they have been entrusted with, then it means that I mean, all that money is being thrown down the drain. But more importantly, it means that our democracy, which in large part is in their hands, is actually on shaky ground. And if you consider, for example, go back to the whole uh, Waterkloof saga, I mean, the public protector made it clear that it, it is no excuse for both public servants and politicians to hide behind I don't know or I wasn't aware. They should do their jobs, which then means also where, for example, people are second-guessing their political principles, which happens a lot. They actually have a duty to be the first people to say, sorry, chief, to use um, you know, the language that government people use. You know, We are not allowed to do this. We shouldn't do this. Or there's a policy vacuum. Until we sort that out, let's not do this. So they are actually being asked to do their jobs and that's not too much to ask of us if you can't do your job then you know you shouldn't be you know where 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 you are we've seen government react and respond to the report mac maharaj saying they respect chapter nine institutions jeff hadere coming out and saying the special investigating unit is going to be getting involved how are we going to see the anc react tomorrow well i, I think the 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 anc has I mean, basically, sort of nailed its colours on the mask. They have been, they have made it clear that um, they they are going to war on this one. Look, it's. Uh, I mean, if you are a politician and in their situation, you would kind of understand why. Because I mean, it's an election year, and here's some here's something that makes you very vulnerable. So what do you do? You go to war. But other people may argue that you could actually um, um, do something different. In other words, be magnanimous. You know, go in there and say wrongs were committed. It leaves. It means that we have to pull up our socks and actually do the right thing. The right thing, and beyond, and say beyond this point, I'm making a pledge that this will never happen. This will never happen again. And um, this is what I'm putting in place to make sure that I actually do as I am promising. Uh, that is probably a. That would be a better approach, in my view, to this whole saga, but I just can't see the ANC doing that. What do you make of the DA's next move? They say they're going to go to the National Assembly and ask for Jacob Zuma to be removed from office. 
Uh, well, the fact of the matter is that it's just not going to happen. You know, so it will happen. There'll be the drama and the theater and all that goes with that. But um, I mean, they just don't have the numbers to to actually make that happen. So it's not going to happen. Thank you very much for your insight. That was SABC contributing editor Vuyo Mvo.